We've done legs, we've done pull. Girl, where's the push? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. We've got a push day circuit for y'all. So if you are new to all the lingo, push day is going to incorporate your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. Now just a disclaimer, it does take me about an hour and 30 minutes to do this exact circuit that I'm going to show you. You do not have to do this entire circuit. You can get pieces of these exercises and make your own push day. You don't have to do as many reps as me. You don't have to lift as heavy. You don't have to do as many rounds. Keep that all in mind. I am doing this for me, but I wanted to share these particular exercises for you so you can adjust them according to you and where you are. You might be lifting heavier than me, so definitely go for whatever is going to suit your needs best. This is just meant to help you get some ideas on incorporating some exercises for your next push day. Again, don't forget that the goal for these circuits, no matter what you do, is to progressively go up in weight on each exercise. And if you can't go up in weight, then go up in reps. You don't wanna do the same exact thing for weeks upon end because that's not going to gain the muscle. Muscle growth is when you progressively go up in weight or go up in the reps over time. Also give this circuit a good while. So a lot of people like, and I was the same way way back then, like to yo-yo with their exercise Exercises. You need to do this for at least six weeks or more and then progressively go up and wait and reps during that six weeks plus to see results. So let's go ahead and get you killed on this push day. The first thing I like to do with any of my workouts is to warm up. And the way that I warm up, you can do whatever you want, is do some incline treadmill work. So I put it on an incline of 10 for five minutes. And yes, that's the only cardio you're gonna see the girl do right now. We're starting off with one arm Arnold presses. I'm using a 25 pound dumbbell. I'm doing 10 reps times three rounds. And on my left arm, I actually have to do 20 pounds because it is weaker than my dominant side. And that's okay. Just make sure that you're using a weight that you can lift, that you're not going to hurt yourself. This is shoulder work, so you definitely do not want to tear anything or hurt anything and be out for the game. But gradually go up and wait if it feels like you can. It took me a long time to get to this 25 pounds. As you can see, I'm struggling towards the end. Next, we're doing the lying chest press. I'm doing 40 pounds, two reps times three. As you're gonna see right now, this was a day I was struggling and my left side was just not having it. And I took a minute, readjusted, make sure that you get your composure before you just try to lift and these fall on your head because nobody wants an injury on their hands. As you can see, I got up, we did good, got our two reps, good to go. Took me again, a long time to get to 40 pounds and I will still progressively go up, guys. So make sure that you take your time on these. Next, we've got the weighted tricep dips. So you're gonna get yourself on a bench. Make sure your back and your butt is really close to the bench. You don't wanna be too far away from the bench here because you wanna work that tricep and you don't want it to be all feeling in your shoulders. You do not have to use a plate. You can just do these without a plate. I actually just started using the plate here recently and will continue to go up in that, but you can still get the same effect with just doing them without a plate here. You do not have to have any weight. And again, make sure that you have your positioning right. Really slow down. You don't have to go crazy with how fast you're going and have your feet steady enough to where you're going to be upright and really work that tricep well. Now we're gonna do some Smith machine work using our chest muscles. Again, we're gonna do the chest press. I only have 40 pounds on here, because let me tell you, chest is my weakest area, and this 40 pounds feels like a million pounds. It definitely works your chest. Make sure that you have, speaking of your chest, you have your back arched. And you have, I have my feet, you can't see them, but I have my feet kind of tucked in underneath my butt so I can get some stability. And that way you are only working your chest here. You don't wanna pull anything in your back. You can definitely get a back injury on these real quick. So as you can see, I keep scooting down and adjusting my back and arching it so I do not do that. And you don't have to go heavy on the weight there. Next, this is one of my favorite exercises for arms right now is the one arm upright rows. I'm using a plate, you can use a dumbbell as well, but I just find I get more stability 
stability and I actually feel it more on my shoulder when I'm using the plate. I'm using 25 pounds. You can definitely go lower or higher if you can. 10 reps on each arm, you are going to burn out those shoulders and you're going to sculpt them so well. Make sure that you go all the way down and go up again. Don't go crazy with trying to go super fast on these. Really have that mind muscle connection so you can feel that muscle group working. Take your time. The more that you take your time and feel these things, the better your results are going to be on the long run versus just getting something up because it's a higher weight. You don't want to do that. Now we're working the triceps again with the plates, plate tricep extension. So get yourself on a bench. You can lay on the ground as well if you don't mind doing that. You know, no shame in my game. And you want to take the plate or take dumbbells and you're working your triceps. Have a little, um, your arms back a little bit so that way you're not just going directly up. You can see there's a little bend in my arm there. So that way I'm feeling it all in the back of the arm where the tricep where you want it to be. And have your plate or dumbbells as close to your head as possible. Really straight back and then up. And that way you can feel it. And look, 10 pounds, you are going to feel the burn. We are doing 15 reps here because I'm trying to burn out my triceps, but you could definitely do less reps and still feel the same effect. Dumbbells, I feel like I can't get them back as straight as I like, so that's why we've switched over to the plate, loving the plate work. Now we're gonna go over to the cable area, the intimidation zone if you watch the vlogs, and we're gonna get a bar and we're gonna do some tricep work here. So I've got this on 35 pounds plus the plate. I'm gonna do eight reps times three you can have your feet stance like I have them to get some stability so that way you're not arching your back and you are feeling it in your triceps and not your biceps is what we want here next we're gonna do some more chest work the cable chest flies I couldn't do them on the sides like I normally do so I just improvised here so it felt a little weird not gonna lie this way but you're still getting the same effect. So, and I have light weight. This is 10 pounds plus the plate. You're going to feel it. You don't need heavy weight on these as well. Again, I'm weak in the chest area. If you're strong, you can definitely go up. And I'm doing 10 reps times three. You wanna make sure that you have your stance here so that way you're not using your back and you're feeling it in your chest. Kind of push yourself forward, really squeeze as you bring both arms together and you're gonna feel it in the tatas. You're gonna feel it in the chest versus your biceps or your back or anywhere else. Now on push day, I like to incorporate some push-ups here lately. And I like doing elevated push-ups just because I feel like, again, I'm not using my back. I'm not hurting my back. I'm feeling it in my chest. I'm feeling it in my triceps and everywhere I want it to be. And also I'm starting to do some push-up bar work. Now somebody jacked our little bar things. So I've been having to improvise with kettlebells and it is much harder with kettlebells, I have to say. I'm doing six reps times two. If you have the bars, use those. They're much better. And then I do incorporate pull-up work every day of my training just because it's one of my goals this year for 2022. And I'm doing some dead hang assisted pull-up works because I want to do some unassisted dead hang pull-ups actually next week. That's going to be my goal. So I'm doing four reps times three with the lightest little cable that they have and doing some work that way. And it definitely feels like I'm getting stronger as I'm practicing these guys. I could barely even hang on this thing January 1st, and now we are doing much more. So don't think that you can't accomplish a goal, guys. If you have a goal in mind, if you put the work in each and every day and practice it, practice is going to make it perfect. I know that's the saying, but the more that you keep putting in, the more you're going to get out. And then I always like to end all of my sessions with some type of burnout using the weighted ropes. I like to do the ropes where we pull down and I have a lot of other things in this 360 area of Planet Fitness is great if you have a Planet Fitness. But I do three rounds of 30 to 40 seconds and I just go beast. I like leave everything on the floor or whatever I have in the tank. I try to like let it out right there. And as you can see, I'm like dusted right now. Like this was, these push sessions are super hard for me because it's my most challenging day for the body groups and I just kind of dust myself at the end and this is our pump y'all so this is yeah we had a crappy session this was not a good session for me in my mind but at the end we had a great pump going on everything's looking good and defined we're getting to those goals like we want 
gonna do it for this push day video. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these workout videos. And it, a lot of y'all said y'all missed out on the leg day and the pull day. You can go back and look through my video feed on my channel or just type in Nicole Burgess leg day, Nicole Burgess pull day, push day, and these videos will pop up for you easily. Now a lot of you guys have been waiting for a push day video to kind of complete your circuit. So I hope this video was helpful and informative. Any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to converse with you over there. If you're new to the channel, we do weekly vlogs where you showcase all these workouts, what I eat in a day, everything on Mondays and all other kinds of content. So I'd love to have you a part of the family. So click all the bells and whistles before you leave. Y'all have an amazing day and awesome weekend. Keep killing it out there. I see you guys when you tag me on Instagram, keep tagging me. And if you're not tagging me, tag me so I can reshare. I love seeing y'all out there grinding and killing it each and every day. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.